What's up, modern steaders? I was able to get all the chickens and the ducks into New York City last night. You know what that means? We get to move New York City to greener pasture. Now let's get moving this thing. This will be our first time moving New York City with water in the rainwater collection system. So a little nervous about that, but we'll find out. I guess if I have to take the water out, we're supposed to get a half inch of rain tonight anyways. It'll fill back up. Nice girl to mow over here now. There's no other else to mow over here. I think she's had the property. Is it a steak or an eye hook? Oh, no. An eye hook. Ready? A nice little slip knot. Yeah. It took me a minute to figure out how to use it so I could utilize the strings they give you, how to roll it up the right way. Why oh, the strings come with it? A string. <laughs> Gotta move New York City crib. <laughs> They're saying, what are you doing, man? Let us out. We want out. Uh, ah. Not the duck shirt, man. Not no more. Just want to make sure we get out as many eggs as possible. Is that a duck egg? No, uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think they're laying yet. Uh, oh, yeah, but they lay like once the chickens get. I'm going to get her to move to find out. Huh. There's an egg. There. We don't want scrambled eggs. She must have just laid that one. It's nice and warm. Boy, do we make some good teamwork. Good job. All right, so we're gonna back it up 
and then try to come forward with it and go out that way. And if we can't, we'll just back it up the whole way. We're gonna go down the road and put it in the pasture. Ready? Yep. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. Let's not. You're gonna have to get off that hump. Place you want to set it up. The easiest one because you just got <laughs> now. We got the hard part. It's all easy from here on out. <sighs> we can put it up here, but I think we're better off doing that later on. We can put it over here, by like where we had to bring it down here and go over here, and then we can move it. Yeah, why don't we do that? We'll do it here, and then we can move it to the apple orchard where the pigs were last year. Get them in there later on, clearing that out, and then we can just keep going around the pasture and come back up here. Yeah, it looks like there's less stuff right here. Yeah. And I know the meat birds were here earlier. Nobody's been over here yet this year, and it's flatter, so let's try that. We're gonna get you a shirt that says my Kombota my Kombota could do anything. That's right. My Kombota can do anything. As long as you put your mind to it, you can get it done. Thank you. Sure, you don't want to go for a ride with me. You want to take it the tractor by yourself. You want to go around? Yeah, you can go around the house. Yeah, the brakes on. Give her some throttle. Okay. Right, yeah, it's fine. All right, this is Premier One's electric fence kit. It comes with a charger, a fence, and four corner posts. Those four corner posts are pretty cool. I think they're gonna be nice and sturdy. Yeah, on. Yes, they stay on. How's that going? <laughs> I 
The other fence we have is Ken Cove. It's a little bit longer, so there's more length to it. But one thing I really like about this fence so far is this part. You got full metal. They just seem to go in nicer and they're more sturdy. I'll show you the Ken Coves after. They're plastic with a metal piece in them that seems to come apart. Here is the Ken Coves feet. So it's a two-piece plastic foot. Sometimes when you put too much pressure on this, it wants to bend. Or if you hit a rock, it does. They're kind of, they look like they'd be threaded in, but they're not. They just kind of push in. So sometimes this hole gets elongated and then that don't stay in for you. So that's kind of a pain. This is our first time using this fence. I'm just gonna show you it. This is our ground stake. Now, you can slide it in here. Now we can jab it in the ground. Oh, I like that. Well, I guess that was premature because I gotta take this back out and hook it up. I don't know. What are those? I don't know. We don't need them. Do you have any wire that came in the package? Cables. No, that's. Oh, here are the cables. Yeah, so we need cables now. Ooh, I like these. One cable. Cable. Oh, that's what this is for. Oh, Inside, a set of these? Yeah. I like that. Awesome. A good spot for this? Yeah, well, the sun's there. If it's not charging the battery enough, we'll have to move it, but I think it should be good. So, we're just learning this thing too. When I looked at it, I was kind of like, man, I don't like how they just got bolts there. But Genus got, found some knobs, and that's what they're for. They must not come on there because it'd be too big to fit in the box with the knobs sticking out. So they put just regular quarter inch bolts. So we got our cables. This is gonna be the positive one. All right, so we're gonna undo the cable. I'm just gonna tighten that back down. All right, so we're just gonna take it, clamp it right to the ground they give us. You're going to want your solar panel looking towards the sun. There we go. All right, now we can clamp it to the fence. All right, we're going to turn it on. It's flashing green. We got power. All right, in the kit they include a fence tester. You put a 9 volt battery in there, you're going to get this part within five centimeters from the fence, push the button. So now we'll check it on the far end and we're showing 4,000 over here, which is good. You want at least 2,000 to 4,000. We're on the dragging on the ground, so we're going to get the corner set up and then we'll recheck it. Comes with the corner post. I'm just putting them in at an angle because they're flimsy. So this way they go on the ground nicely and they can pull and they'll pull like this. So just taking a piece of the <laughs> white rope they give you. Tying it in a loop. You could do this with bale and twine too, whatever you have. But this comes in the kit. I'm sticking it in this end. It's just in the slit around there. And the fence is nice and taut now. You wanna let them out? All right. Just that one latch. The ramp will drop down. The door's still closed. Who's gonna come out first? Comes a rooster. Icelandic rooster. No. Mr. Biggs. Good afternoon to you too. What do you think? You like that ducks? 
The Icelandics haven't come out yet. What are you doing? You like New York City? You don't want to come out? You thirsty, Mr. Biggs? <laughs> Go out, we'll plug the, f turn the fence back on and check to see what the voltage is at now. Turn it back on. Let's check and see if we got what we have for voltage now that we tightened up the corners and got some of it the fence taut with off the grass. <coughs> Look at that, just by straightening up the corners we went from four thousand kilowatts to eight thousand kilowatts. So the fence lying on the grass makes a difference. And this is on the far end of the fence.